drive. The wins, the appearances, and the starts third for Hernandez in the conference. And that ball's hit down towards second, and it's going to get through. Extra bases for Giles. She's on her horse. And just like that, Luffel will have a run scored. And after not having a triple all season long, Sarah Giles puts the speed on and gets a triple to drive in the first run. Her first triple of the season comes in postseason play, and it's one to nothing. Warriors on top. 25 at bats, 26 runs scored. She pops it up towards right field, going back on it is Sine. And she will reach up, make the catch, and it will turn into a sacrifice fly, scoring Giles from third. Up on wild pitches. Mangenheim only charged with two on the air. That ball down to third. Gating up with it, fires high, but Giles able to climb the ladder and apply the tag. And the Jessup Warriors escape a one out at third. And that ball ripped out towards the right field. Going back on it is Sine. And that ball off the fence. And Giles chugging for third, trying for her second triple of the day, and she gets it. Okay, moved over. And that ball on the ground, that'll get through. That could be extra bases for Wayne. She rounds first, unable to get to it is Garcia, and she'll turn and burn and go to third. Reaching out and touching it is Fanny. She drops it into the outfield grass, and it's five to two. Fanny with her first hit of the day, picks up the RBI. Three o'clock. On the 0-1, Blankenheim has it sent down to win, and win snags it. That's the ball game, final of five to two in favor of the Jessup Warriors. They improved to 36 and seven on the year.